Hi, welcome to a short video on how to use PowerPoint to make videos out of your slideshows. My name is Eric Dunbar and I'm putting together this video for the Digital Lead Learner program. So yes, you can make your videos using only PowerPoint, no other software required. I know that it works in Office 2010 and 2013 and there are some functions that are available in Office 2003 and 2007 but they're certainly not as advanced as what's available in the newest versions. So, three items I'd like to cover. How to record your voice into PowerPoint, how to turn any slideshow into a video, and then some possible uses for this technology. First, make sure your computer can record audio. Then you have to open up your PowerPoint presentation in PowerPoint, preferably Office 2010 or 2013, and all you need to do at this point is choose the Slideshow tab. Once you're at this stage, you need to record your slideshow. So you'll have to record your slideshow, which is right there, and there are two options available to you. Start recording from beginning and start recording from current slide. Once you choose one of the previous options, you're presented with the record slideshow window. At this point, to start recording, simply click start recording. I do want to point out one feature here, which is the laser pointer. Very neat PowerPoint feature. If you hold down the control key while pressing the mouse button, you get this laser pointer, which you can use to highlight items on your screen. And this will get recorded in the slideshow. If you make an error, what you can do is stop your slideshow and then re-record starting from the current slide. Or you can just record one slide at a time. Here are some suggestions for you. Um, do make sure that you use a good microphone if you have one available to you. For example, the blue Snowball provides excellent recording quality. Um, Make sure you use the pause button if you need to collect your thoughts. And this is a great opportunity also to highlight that you can correct for mistakes by re-recording a slide, which I just did. Um, make sure that you avoid speaking too softly or too far away from the microphone. It really distorts the audio. And definitely do not record in a noisy environment. Now, you probably noticed at the previous slide that voice recording is interrupted during slide changes. Keep that in mind. So once you do a slide change, make sure you pause your, t your speaking as well. And to finish off a slideshow, simply run through it, go to the very end of the show and it will automatically end, or you could press the escape key or right click and choose end show. Those are two ways to end your show. Um, one thing you should be aware of is that PowerPoint will not respond for a little while. What it's doing is it's saving your audio recording. This can take up to a minute if you've done a lot or if you have a slow care. Looping your presentation is a neat little feature. You can set up an unattended slideshow. Uh, you can choose set up slideshow from the slideshow tab and you can have it loop continuously. So here is the second part of the video how to turn any PowerPoint slideshow into a video. Fortunately, using PowerPoint 2010 or 2013, it is very easy. You start off with your file menu. Obviously, you have to have your PowerPoint open. So you start off with your file menu. You choose Save and Send. It's an, a hidden option, one that we don't often look at. And you finish off with Create a Video. To actually create the video, you'll have to press a Create Video button. This will create a Windows Media file, which you can then choose to share. You could upload to a file sharing site like YouTube or TeacherTube, or you could put it on your local network. Now, there are some possible uses for this technology. So, the first thing you could do is to flip a classroom. That is where a teacher records a presentation. They post it online, perhaps as a PowerPoint or as a video at YouTube or TeacherTube and students would watch it before coming to class. When students are in class, they can then focus on other types of learning activities since the chalk talk portion is already done. Uh, secondly, it can help students overcome presentation anxiety by allowing them to record themselves, listen to themselves, make corrections perhaps, or they could possibly even take their narrated PowerPoint and show it to the class. 
And another thing that a teacher could do is to prepare a library of lessons for students who are absent. So perhaps you happen to teach a class where students are frequently absent. This is one way to support these students. And I'm going to suggest there are many other ways of using this technology. So thank you very much for watching and I hope you can put this to good use in your own professional practice.